Chapter on What has been related about the dweller of a town is not to sell on behalf of the Bedouin. Abu Huraira narrated that the Messenger of Allah, peace be upon him, said, The dweller of the town is not to sell for the Bedouin. This hadith is graded sahih or authentic. Comments There is great wisdom in this prohibition. This prevention is to eliminate the commission agents from in between the urban population and the residents of the rural area who come to the towns and cities to sell their produce and products. Usually, the people of rural areas bring their goods to sell to the people of a town with the intention of fulfilling the needs of both areas. If they sell their goods directly to the dwellers of the town, they will get the goods at a low price and the seller will get the money to fulfill his other needs. But if a third person from the town or city comes in between, it creates many problems. The seller gets his money late because the commission agent will not give him the money until he sells it since he likes to sell at a higher price and the purchaser gets the goods at a high price and the commission agent makes the money for nothing. There are many other vices which emerge from this action, hoarding, black marketing, problems of demand and supply, etc. make life troublesome. Jabir narrated that the Messenger of Allah, peace be upon him, said, The dweller of the town is not to sell for the Bedouin. Leave the people. Allah provides for some of them through others. This hadith is graded sahih or authentic. Comments This narration of Jabir makes the point clear. If the buyer and seller deal directly, it is beneficial for both of them. When a person from a rural area brings his goods and sells them directly to the people of the town without any intervention of a third person, he sells them at the price which suits him and he gets the money on the spot. This encourages him to bring more things to the town and ultimately business flourishes and the residents of the town get needed things on reasonably low prices. But if there is an intervention of a third person, it complicates the whole business process. Supply and demand is affected. The third person or the commission agent does not supply the needed thing in time and raises the prices. The owners of the goods do not get their money on the spot and their needs are delayed. So, Islam has prevented such intervention.